Are you not glad? Are you not happy when that is. God has opened the way for you to see the original word, so the original life? When in here, so on your cup of blue crank, a CSA amount, so boom and crack. I know this is not to everybody, it's a special group of people. It's for the eager. Hey, I know, the wise and the prudent, the professors, the big men are just looking at junk, but you have been given the original word. Amen. Amen. Our prophet made a statement that the day that the bride will know who he is and what the Lord has done for her, that day the rapture will take place. What if William and Abraham say, Amen. Amen. So walk as an eagle. Behave as an eagle because you are special. Anunti. So now Anunti to say pete and answer kwa kwa debi a jai. And then Anunti so akodi ya. Yo bibi a so akodi ya. Amen. We are in the month of restoration. I believe you are all in that spirit. Seeking the face of God to restore us. When a topic is introduced, not just for a small group of people, it's for the whole church. So we must all be in the same spirit, expecting God to restore us. I want us to sing him 44. God is as alone. As we go through his word. Our time is already gone. Oh, 
to his presence and remain the same. Lord, therefore we are praying that you come down and speak to us. Take over every vessel in this house. Take over what and what we are going to do in this house. And Lord, take all the glory in this hour. Yes, Lord. We subdue every power of darkness. Demonic atmosphere, we subdue it. Occultic powers, we subdue them. Amen. Lord, grant liberty to your children to receive thy word this hour. We bless your name. And we give you the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Then shall we give a big clap to Jesus. When you come to the house of God, you must be glad. David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. There is no better place to be in this world than to be in the house of God. Amen. Amen. For the Bible says something that for with thee, that's with the Lord is the fountain of life. And in his light, shall we see light no other light but the light of the word of God praise be to his holy name amen but now she are standing maybe shall we turn to Genesis chapter 2 Genesis 22 rather Genesis 22 Genesis 22 
read because of time, we read for 11. Brain verse. And this morning, our team for this sermon is possessing the gate of the enemy after a trial. And I pay the ACM who are the NSA, who for a time for Pno Ediso, possessing the gate of the enemy after a trial. Who for what time for Apno Ediso, what for and so him where we is the month of restoration. Our resurrection doesn't just come anyhow. We go through something. We need to possess the gate of our enemy. Now let's turn to verse 11 of Genesis 22. And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven and said, Abraham and he said, Here I am. Here am I. Now I read about four free through Freno. Say, Abraham, Abraham, now I see me. And he said, Lay not thy hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest God. Now I see, in fact, we saw in car a baramano, and so in Yanore. Seeing that has not withheld thy son, thy only son from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him a ram caught in a ticket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. Now Abraham man and his son. And Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh. As it is said to this day, in the mount of the Lord it shall be seen. Now Abraham to Biahodin said, Yahweh Jireh. Enti wakano ne ara se euradi be poso na obeshe. And the angel of the Lord called unto Abraham out of heaven the second time and said, By myself have I sworn, says the Lord. For because thou hast done this thing and hast not withheld thy son, thy only son. Now, I read about four free through Frere Abraham Bill said, Sir, I read this in ye. A son is said, Why yet, sir, assem ye? Now one came over back, crononty. My come, me hunt tam, sir. Shrana meshra war. Now don't a mamma was a four adore, sir, and so many in Puano Anuia. That in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed at the stars of the heavens. And as the sun which is upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. Now I say for be far one a time for one crew up and unknown up no ediso. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast obeyed my voice. Now I say for one now be sure as I say so. May the Lord add his blessings to the reading of his word. Amen. Amen. Brethren, shall you be seated? In blessing, I will bless thee. And thy seed shall possess the gates of his enemies. Brethren, if you really want to understand how a Christian should live his life, then you should understand the life of Abraham. Abraham was just an ordinary man. Abraham no nipa they travel to the land of Haran, I'm sure around Syria, thereabouts from, from 
Mesopotamia to that land and there their father died. O tu bata every Mesopotamia. Eko haram. Ah ni papa wu ewu ye. And it was after the death of his father. Na ni papa wu achire no. That the word of God came to Abraham. And that was in Genesis 12. I know what Genesis is. 1 to 7. We just take 1 to 3. You move back. You see. And soon. You back. Back on him. And son of Now the Lord has said unto Abraham. Get thee out of thy country. And from thy kindred. And from thy father's house. Unto a land that I will show thee. Na erade kachire Abraham se. Wodi e friwasa ser so ne wabu siyamu ne waje fie ko asase a mechire wano so. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. Na maya wo oman kesiye na mechire wo na mama wudi aye kesiye. Now why ye in Shira? And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse them that curse thee. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Now me Shira, one will Shira one. Now one will do me one. Me do me one. Now we move now. We be Shira as a sister Muslim. Now when God called Abraham, bring away and come from Abraham. No, God first asked Abraham. To separate himself. When you come on the kind, catch the Abraham. Say, "Unto me, who am I to be your man?" Separate yourself from your country. To who feel my who? Separate yourself from your kindred. To who feel I be your father who? Separate yourself from your father's house. To who feel what you feel who? Brethren, this marks the basis and the beginning of repentance. And you are no way. When I begin such a infidelity, God will not deal with any man who has not repented. When I uncover any obia on such a Nigeria nante, so before he could deal with Abraham, he asked him to do what? Separate himself. I don't see answer of the Abraham ben nante no. O kachia ni se ante ni hu. Have you separated yourself this morning? Ano pewa tu hu. And three things he asked him to separate himself from. He asked Abraham, "If I'm going to deal with you, then separate yourself from your country." Abraham, we say, "Me no ban ante dia to who free who my who." Remember, brother, sister, every country has a spirit. Kai se ni anu me, o my mi a o who who. And before you can walk with God. You have to separate yourself from that spirit in your country. We are in Ghana. But brother and sister, we are not Ghanaians. You don't understand this. How can you be in Ghana and you are not Ghanaians? We are not controlled by the spirit of Ghana. We claim you have repented. Brother, you repented alone. It's not just stopping fornication, stopping drinking, and those things. Yes, they are part of repentance. But go back to Abraham. What the Lord told him: separate yourself from your country. Yes, he had such a yaji. I did such a yaji. No one is away. Yeah, we go grow no. I know we just come. I'm a kahudiye. Now you go, Abraham. They are say, "Till we free, we may know." Some are sitting here, and they are still Ghanaians. They conduct themselves as Ghanaians. They behave like Ghanaians. But brother, sister, if you are an ego, you are not a Ghanaian. We are hearing strange things this morning. We don't behave like Ghanaian behaves. Because you belong to a a country whose foundation, whose builder and maker is God. So when Ghanaians are behaving in a certain way, don't say they are Ghana, they are signing at you. No, they are not yet a Christian. 
Enu ti se gana fo ye niyama biya enye. Na oka so ho ye ye gana fo ye sa ane tia. Ane na u nye kiso ni. God has Abraham Leave your country. Go ahead, Abraham. When you make a choice, free will find me. This morning, God is telling us to leave our country. And now, no power. You are coming to catch us. You are free of my gun, Emu. Not only your country. No, my gun, Emu. Your kindred. We are busy, Emu. Your kindred stuff from your tribe to whatever. Leave it. I busy, Emu. Baby, I will free. So we are Kenyan. So we are Hausani. Baby, I will set free, Emu. So if you come to the place. Why the church has become so tribalistic? If you don't belong to this tribe, you cannot be here. Then, brother, we are still on this earth here in Ghana. We haven't left Ghana. We are in Ghana. Anuti, si abadru ba biya asafuno abaya abusiya abusiya mifriya mifriya na chese yansha si akura si efri ya 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 maimu. And our tribes, tribes have their spirits. Na abusiya abusiya ni ina omu ahom. If you are dominated by Ashanti spirit, pride will be part of you. Who is Ashanti? Ni abo mu ahanta inu achine beta abo nukoko. Who I say? If you are dominated by Ashanti spirit, litigation will be part of you. Who if you are chimu abo se mansochi? Who na ukremu kesi pa? If you are an ever and you belong to an ever spirit, you always want to separate yourself. Me, I don't belong to this group. I don't belong to them. Let me just stand alone, or let me stand for my people alone. That is an ever spirit which you must separate yourself from. So we are in Benusua, and there be no one to who often can inform me. They may call me out. Me, they are in the phone call. I mean, no man, they. Anya, to who feels that one woman? This is the gathering of eagles. Gathering of believers. I didn't find that here. Gathering of people who are going to stay with God eternally. So our lives should be different. Into ya bra bo esa ya sronko. You go to a church, a Santi group, Santi group, a Uyghur group in the Church of God. Brethren, it's just a society. Ya wan sai bi o unya wuramu a akanfo akuo nie aigbefo de ani zamrama fo de ani and if i don't belong to that group i have no right to come amongst them then what are we do you already divided in the church brother god asks abraham to separate himself from his kindred i don't you won't cast a corner one who come mu kra no mu nyina pia pia o and to separate himself also from his father's house. What was in the father's house? They were other worshippers. As for this, that belongs to our family. So I cannot separate myself from it. You are lost. You don't know where you stand. Baba zafu, dia wakani yenka ya nukro. Nasu wa busmi, ya busi amu ya na nani mnyani na na amosom. Inti yanti mimi chia huu mfrio, ubu ania waira. So before you claim you as you have repented or you have accepted Jesus as your savior, these three things must come to play. You must ensure that I'm no longer a Ghanaian. You must ensure I'm no longer a Santi. You must ensure that my family spirit, I'm out of it. And on the other side, I will say, my new home, my such a magi, my free niama wo yasi midi nyangu po konante no. Who who say? Ghana wo home na yadi gua juma yadi say niama no. What watch ni? Who who say? Abu siya wo home noa midi ame ya kani midi ame ya wo ame ya wo no. What you want free? Ina who who say? Abu siya abu sumne diake kano wa udi achire no. Church, I believe from now we are going to see a change. We want the Lord to restore us. And therefore we must leave behind whatsoever is dragging us backward. I don't see any man who can take me a chair and quit. You know, I see a jerry in our hands. If somebody comes in church new, you want to know where he comes from. Fine. After that, after realizing that oh, he doesn't come. From from the place where I come from, from my tribe, you don't have anything to do with that person again. It should not be in the house of God. The 
There should not be any tribal discrimination in the house of God. You have all been made to drink of one spirit. That's the Holy Spirit. And there's therefore no Greek, no, no Jew, no Gentile. We are all one. Now, I'm not going to be able to do this. I am not going to be able to do this. I am not going to be able to do this. I am not going to be able to do this. Amen. Amen. One problem that has played entire message is this. People claim they have repented, but they forgot. They have forgotten that they have to also leave their country. They have to leave their country, and they have to leave their father's house. We come to the house of God, and we still hold to those things. When Abraham heard this voice from the Lord, Abraham he did not question God. And the first he has not had any encounter with God before. But when he heard the voice of God, he recognized that this is the voice of God. And verse 4 of the same Genesis 20, uh, Genesis 12 tells us. He said, so Abraham, or Abraham departed as the Lord has spoken unto him. Abraham, even here, Abraham of all himself, he had a problem. Abraham, Abraham. Because the instruction to him was, leave your father's house. Meaning, all that pertains to your father's house. Your brothers, your uncles, your nephews, your whatever, leave them. Not just say, their father was a fear. Wouldn't but when Abraham was going to the land of Canaan, he took Lot along. And we all saw what happened between Abraham and Lot. Brother, God never did bless Abraham until Lot separated himself from him. And God will never bless you as you are sitting here, you hearing my voice, until any lot in your life is taken away from you. Repentant is total repentant, not part repentant and then part worldly. And in verse 7 of the same chapter 12, God promised him something. He says, And the Lord appeared unto Abraham and said, Unto thy seed. Meanwhile, that time Abraham, being 75 years old, had no child. But unto thy seed will I give this land. And there built he an altar unto the Lord who appeared unto him. Now, so Abraham believed God and he was expecting this seed from the Lord. And for 25 years, since the Lord appeared unto him in Haran, he was expecting this seed. He was expecting this seed. How would this child come? Because the promise is to my seed who will sell this land. I am growing old. How would this seed come? When it was a trying time for Abraham. And Abraham became stronger by the day. Abraham the promise delayed the war, he became stronger 
and stronger in the Lord. Romans 4, 17. As it is written, I have made a father of many nations. Before him whom he believed, even God, who quickened the dead and colored those things which be as though they were. Who, who against hope believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations. According to that which was spoken, so, that, so shall thy seed be. Brethren, Abraham wasn't weak. And verse 19 says, And being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body now dead. When he was about 100 years, in fact, God is telling you, if you look at verse, chapter 17, at the age of 99, almost 100 years, and so the child had not come. When he was about 100 years old, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. Now I am ready to mu I'm sharing in the pedia. So I did in French. I buy a aha in tea. I am a u. Ne 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 Sarah ya funu a a u ono. He started not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. Why he him wa anye ni mu ne mo ojina jidi mu di anonya mu. Why? Because he was fully persuaded. That he that had promised, he was also able to perform. Has your pregnancy delayed? I'm growing old now. I've been married for the past 10 years, nothing. I'm um, almost 50 years. Brethren, let us. Believe the God who has promised us. He did not look at himself, the state that he was in. He did not look at how Sarah's womb was so dead, but he looked to the word. He had confidence in the word of God. That he who has promised will never fail. The problem we have is we don't have patience with the Lord. We are expecting something. And you set deadlines for the Lord. Lord, well, this must be accomplished by this period. Fine, sometimes it's a display of faith. Go ahead. Remember, we are serving a sovereign God. Whose ways are not our ways. And whose thoughts are not our thoughts. But Abraham never questioned God. He trusted them more in his God who has promised him. Even though he was going through a terrible trial, he still held on to his faith. Amen. Amen. And brethren, Genesis 18. God came down with two angels. And came to Abraham's house. And confirmed again to him that promise that he has given him. Now, I'm going to visit you and Sarah. Sarah, at a certain time, a certain appointed time of life, you are going to have your child. When I'm almost 100 years, ah, the time you gave this promise, I was 75. You have waited for 25 good years, and it's not that you are coming to tell me this. What's that, my boy? My dear, fear your son. He said, "My dear, fear. In fear, do you know my chamu? What has God done to make you so precious? God knew what He was going to do. So when He gave that promise, 
Something started taking place in the in the lives in the body of his children, Abraham and his wife. Brethren, some normally say, Well, maybe God tried to patch Sarah, maybe the womb, he has to adjust the womb small and uh, adjust the the strength of Abraham small and that kind of thing. No, brethren, by the message that we believe. God turned Sarah and Abraham to a young man and young woman. Brethren, sometimes we think that there is that in Genesis 20, Abraham decided to travel to the land of the Philistines, Gera with his wife. Now, Genesis said, you no, Bible Abraham, Sarah, Gera, I so. And here it's a long distance, but they have to walk now, to that place. I acquire one Immediately they landed in the land of Philistine at Jera. Oh, the, oh, Gera, the king of Jera called Abimelech. Oh, he knew a friend Abimelech or Gera Honomono. Saw the wife of Abraham. Oh, I am for Baby Homo Pemapa. Oh, who Abraham is Sarah Pen and you born to get to get. Hey, what are you going to do with a 90, 90 year old grandma, Gera, Mr. Gera? Ah, oh, he, Mammy Abrewanka, and Fiat Yakrodia, would any other But remember this the Bible says it was based on the advice of his people. When they saw her, she was so beautiful to look upon. Kai, sir, Babu, me at yes, yes, sir. Nay, no, he didn't open a copper, you. Now, pump for an afootu for the hen on the papa. Of all the Philistinian girls, Abimelech never was attracted to any of them but to Grandma Sarah. Philistine for man who found ye be brain now. Why in four and young Sasha, Mama, who will be a set? Abrewa Sarah. I don't see I, Mammy, who have fenty a family. God had done something in her. To prepare her for the fulfillment of his promise. The says, says, This tells us, brethren, this old body that you see standing here, the old body that you see yourself in is not going to be the same. God is going to turn you into young men and women. Oh, yes, in his presence. What should I say? Son, you put your attention to me. Abraham and I turn to me. We are here, crack to the Biama and answer in here. We soon go to Josie. When young Cooper was sending you now, why to say Abraham and Ababa? Oh, we have better things ahead of us. God says, eyes I have him. not seen, yes, I have not heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things that God has in store for those who love him. And Abraham, whose body was dead, after the birth of his son Isaac, and after the death of his wife, could marry another woman and brought for six sons. The man who was just dying, God has done something in his life. Now, Akokra Poso Abraham, and yeah, Nimus or Yakokra. Now, so on Yakupa or Sans of Assassin, or who Isaac Achino, Nana Irisara Cababino, or to me, Sanfa, or Yerfu Fracatura, Sawo and Mansia. Oh, our God is great. Let's give a big clap to our God. Oh, yeah, he can, can do anything. anything. And that is the God you are serving. He hasn't changed. 
He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. When in your cupola, your summon on society, on society, or to say, and no, and net nida. Is there anything too hard for our God? Whatever you are going through this hour, I want to ask you, is there anything too hard for the Lord? Is your problem so great, so big that you think God cannot solve for you? Just have faith in God. Abraham was brought forth. That's if you read 20, chapter 21. And the home was a lively home. Now Abraham away. Now they Isaac was brought forth. Sorry, Isaac. Isaac, how were you? Isaac. Oh, Isaac. The fear by a fair. It was a lively, lovely home. And Nije Abusia. After the boy had been weaned, and he was just about 10, 11, 12 years old. Just can imagine boys around that age. They are so lively. Now Abraham, 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 today, and our brother, what did they fear? Oh, Abraham was so proud. You know, before Abraham was born, uh, before Isaac was born, frustration was setting in, and Sarah had to really offer her mate to nah. Abraham. That, well, if the promise is not coming to pass, why don't you take my maid and go into her and have a son? Maybe he will be the one. But God said, In Sarah, it was coming from Sarah, not from your maid. I don't think. Abraham, I didn't buy what I want. We God said, from your own seed. Yes, your seed. Shall I know the answer to what I want to say, Ishmael Pono. Abraham, I said, 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 I and the mother saw it. He said, cast out this bond woman from this house. For they see this bond woman shall not inherit with this my son. Cast him out from this house. Isaac Yes, the son has come. We are proud. God has fulfilled his word. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Oh, what a faithful God we serve. Then one day, the Lord appeared unto Abraham. The Lord appeared unto Abraham. Abraham. That's in Genesis chapter 1, chapter 22. I say it came to pass after this is that God did tempt Abraham. I say never say on your coupon to Abraham here, and said unto Abraham, I said, Behold, here I am. No catch Abraham say Abraham. I say here me waha. Remember, he has been promised that he is going to possess the gate of of his enemies. Can I say what shall the boss say? What about the time for a punedi so? And the land that he was on, he was going to inherit. He's going to have it. Now, as as I said. Now the God who has fulfilled his promise to Abraham by bringing Isaac to the family, now he's telling Abraham. And he said, take now thy son, thy only son Isaac, whom thou lovest. And get thee into the land of Moria. Now to Bataco Moria and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains, which I will tell thee. Now find a cobo or show a for ye. I will make one of the mumbo. I will make sure I will see. 
what will be have been your reaction? Such an instruction. Uh, am I hearing the right voice? Satan, leave me alone. Where I born someone and yin yami. Ah. How can how can you give to a dual statement like this? You have promised me a son. And now you want me to go and kill the son. No, this one I need to consult. So you go and consult somebody. This is the voice I'm here. You think it's from God? How can God tell you this? No, no, Brother, it was a trying time for Abraham. Abraham. But to Abraham, Abraham dear. No, Abraham is so familiar with God's voice. The problem that we have is we are not familiar with his voice. Yeah, yeah, how say so when the Lord is fixed. We wonder whether it's Satan who is talking to us or it's the Lord. So many of us have neglected the still small voice. The voice that will have really brought to your restoration, we have forgotten about it because why? We are not used to that voice. Abraham was not disappointed. Ah, Abraham, I'm going to he did not question God about his earlier promise. Neither did he try to seek a second opinion. All that Abraham did was that he said, the Bible says Abraham rose up early in the morning and saddled his ass and two, took two of his young men with him and Isaac his son and claimed the wood for the burnt offering and rose up and went into the place which God has told him. The Bible reckon you know, say Abraham sorry on a pahima. Ofa ne nku amienu, efa ne baba e mano. Efa na funumu, efa e jaguso. Maba, the man of faith, the woman of faith, the brother of faith will always say this God said it. And I believe it. And that's what it says. Na obarema oyejidieni. Oba oyejidieni. Brethren, this is the level God wants us to come to. Where, when you hear his word, no matter how it affects you, no matter how it's so painful to you, as long as it is God's word, I have heard it. I have taken it. I accept it. And you leave it. And you know me. Some pampers so necessary in your bedroom. Say a tin young coupon near. Say a woo yang. Say a bay yang. Say a yang and de. Say a tear beer. I say, I am a mini. My jedi, my betuan among. We are studying this of Abraham because we are coming to the seed of Abraham and we must ensure that the seed of Abraham exhibit the same characteristics like Abraham. Abraham obeyed the voice of God. Abraham, no matter how disappointing it looked, as long as God has said it, I believe it. Now we'll record it. You are committing fornication. The last word has come to you that this fornication that you are committing will lead you to hell. You stand and say, if I don't go there, this man has been the one who has been supporting me. Without him, I will not eat. Well, God, you hold your way for the time being. Let me go and commit my fornication. When all is well, I will come back. My friend, that is not the daughter or son of Abraham. Oh boy, Jamai. When I'm in the house, I will No, I will pay no paper. No actual light bill, rent, transport, school fees. I ready when you na na sami jaya. May I die? No matter how when you na. As for Abraham, all that he wants to hear is God's voice. Abraham, as dear, long as it is God's voice, I believe it. The apostle Tiani say, "Nyamini, 
Say nya menin ko dia me ojidi obedi so and they go to the place where that's the land of moria and when they go to that land abraham saw that mountain up there and he asked the people who were with him his servants to just wait with the ass as he and uh, isaac moved to that mountain and to omukodu moria asase so otu nani na he emipo na gu ho yi and into a catre ne nku amienu ni se montwe wa ha ya na me ni isaac and ko ba for the emra to ni isaac to an amon ko and abraham the wood that he was going to use to uh, for the sacrifice he laid the wood on isaac na abraham efa mabano ejano na odeso isaac it is a very terrible scene brother sister enianum eya bia a ehupa ya were ho so the sacrifice was carrying his own wood that he was going to lay on to be bent the arena ko ba for the no so no anka sa ni ja ana ni maba ana ni dua ai de ne kwato so akunu ai de abraham was holding the fire and the knife abraham ekuta eja no ani sekan no he and his son alone were marching to the mountain na oni ne ba no kwa efro akobi po iso thank you lord e de rada se pointing to calvary etre e de akọ calvary that one day said that could be the royal seed of abraham abraham a seed ni papa no will carry his own cross so no na se nia and climb to the mount no afuko be pone so and when abraham was going abraham o kro no look it wasn't a pleasant thing for him no no for only we got his son on the back the son of wait for 25 years for oba ma chan in fear you no num but he had a consolation in god's word na so no i would to so be on yamia semu and that's why hebrews 11 I know no account of Hebrew from my third book on 17 to 19. So. The Bible says by faith Abraham when he was tried offered up Isaac and he that had received the promises offered up his only begotten son. Gideon Tina was so Abraham here no or the Isaac cobo afodie na de oji boshe no de ne bakro of whom it was said that in Isaac shall I see be called onu na o ka kire no say Isaac mu na o ba fra wa se fo now listen that's it when Abraham was going with Isaac this was what was going on in his heart Abraham ni Isaac na mo wo mo ko dia ko na na ma kuma mu ye god was able to raise him up even from the dead <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> the same god can raise you up na say isaac to me free say ni padia wo mu ba ya and yes isaac wo mpo a wo tia say nyane no praise the lord hallelujah yes we are serving the living god and he has so many no matter your situation brother i am found it to be a wo mu believing god that he's faithful o ji nyanku po di so no kwafo things may not go the way you expect it and yeah no man ko say ni opa no He says I know the thoughts that I have concerning thee the thoughts of good know. and not of evil to give you an expected end Mini ma dia me dey for ho anya dey money na ya dey pa na me dey wey wey pa He trusted in his God Yeah fe ho to say nya me so he consoled himself And it is odd ya I want to show you Even if Redund is not easy to lose your son or your daughter Any anum ana for mo what bless a hospital to hospital na na ba kwa ba i feel sir hey 
I've gone through it before, so I know what it is. My only son. But I know my God. Even if he dies, he can raise him from the dead. Amen. Amen. And that was the victory of Abraham. He has so much faith in God that no matter the situation, be it death, be it life, be it hunger, wherever it is, my God is so God. And First John five four tells us. Now you says whose is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world. Even our faith. Without faith, there's no way you can please God. Abraham exhibited that great faith. Abraham had And you all know what happened. When they got to the spot, Abraham built the altar and prepared the altar with the wood. And in fact, Isaac asked him, Daddy, here is the wood, there's the fire, and I see your knife. But where is the lamb for the sacrifice? And Abraham, Abraham told his son, God shall provide. Hallelujah. Sacrifice. Abraham the he tied his son by the two hands and the legs, placed him on the altar, on the altar of fire just to sacrifice him. And when he was just about, he stretched his son, actually he took the knife and he was going to finish his son. It was there that God spoke to Abraham. I don't think I did not his son and I didn't know so you see when God intervened so you just can't sit there and say if God asks me why should I go through this why should I go through that why should I even be sick why should I suffer hunger brother sister you don't understand you don't know God I don't want to mean God I always say, brethren, God does not pamper his children. You are my child. So you are so, like we do to our children, you are so special. I don't want you to suffer any pain. I don't want you to suffer any hardship. And therefore, no, God, who is leading his children, sometimes can lead you through the waters. Yes, water is soft, but sometimes it can be the flood, which is heavy, you pass through it, and sometimes it can go through fire. Fire, but in all this, his love over us. Oh, yes, the blood covers us. Yeah, in Nipa, and in Pam, yeah, 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 Gigi, yeah, Maso. Hey, bra, ma, bra, me, me, kosu, kuna, me, nada, fong, timi, ba, di, adab, yo, hey, ene, ka, ne, se, ya, mumi, yanko, hai, ka, ne, fan, yanko, like you had last two weeks, that as eagles, we must endure hardness. Because we are soldiers of the cross. And no man that warreth entangleth himself with the face of this life. 
Because that's the only way you can please God by disassociating yourself from those things of this world. And when Abraham laid his hand to kill his son, Abraham, man, in San so Bacune Bano, this scene was so projected to him. I could hear Abraham singing this song, Must Jesus bear the cross alone and all the others go free? No, there's a cross for everyone and there's a cross for me. Anna, as a second, some quan, I yes, some quan, as far as any other one, there be. That's a cross that we must all bear. Sometimes it may be painful, but you must stand as a seed of Abraham. Verse 15 of Genesis 22. And the angel of the Lord called unto Abraham out of heaven the second time. And said, by myself, I have I sworn. See as the Lord. Because thou hast done this thing. And has not withheld thy son, now thy fa- only son. That in blessing will I bless thee. And in multiplying, I will multiply thy seed at the stars of heaven. And the sun that puts upon the seashore. And thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. Now, Abraham has to go through this trial to get the confirmation of this promise. And let's look at something. God asks him, Your seed shall be like what? First, the stars of heaven. And secondly, the sand and the seashore. Who are the stars of heaven? The saints that have gone before us. And Christ himself is a bright and morning star. Christ, Christ, Christ is a bright and And the saints that are on earth, they together we form the seed of Abraham. That was the promise God gave Abraham. Because he went through that trial and he succeeded. Amen. Amen. Now what you are going to look at is and who is the seed of Abraham? Anybody wakes up and says he's a seed of Abraham. Even the Muslims are saying they are the seed of Abraham. Anybody in Israel calls himself the seed of Abraham. Israel, Nibia, so yeah, Abraham, and our Gentiles who are churchgoers also call themselves the seed of Abraham. But who is the seed of Abraham? Abraham Remember, Abraham had a natural seed. Abraham, no, Through Isaac. Ah, Isaac. And so. Jacob. Jacob. And came Israel. And Israel. By that's the Jews. But there is another seed of Abraham. That's the spiritual seed. Now, so Abraham, which is the seed of his faith. That's faith through which we can also be made Abraham's seed. 
There were thousands of Jews that were circumcised. But it was a covenant, if you read Genesis 17, of circumcision between Abraham and the Lord and all his seed, that every male child shall be circumcised on the eighth day. But not all those people who were born. And the seed of Abraham were really counted as seed of Abraham. If you look at what happened on the wilderness from Egypt to Canaan land, so many people started. Men of war started. But then when they got to the land, the real men of war who started from Egypt were left with two. Why? Let's look at Hebrews 3.15. Let's look at Hebrews 3.15. Just project 15 alone for me. Well, Why yeah. it is said today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation. Our sisters, I am not a man who is prima kuma. For some, when they had heard, did provoke, having it not all that came out of Egypt by Moses. But with whom was he grieved 40 years? Was it not with them that had sinned, whose carcasses fell in the wilderness? And to whom swear he that they should not enter into his rest, but to them that believe not. So we see that they could not enter in because of what? Because of what? So if that spirit of unbelief has dominated your life, there's no way you can call yourself the seed of Abraham. Unbelief. Because you don't believe the word of God, that's why you continue sinning. You don't believe the word of God, that's why you continue to hold your witchcraft. You don't believe the word of God, that's why you continue to backbite and to say false things about your brother, your sister. You cause murder, you cause fornication because of unbelief. And Romans 2, 28 and 29 says, For he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly. And he is not a Christian, who is the one just outwardly, he goes to church, I do this, that doesn't make you a Christian. Neither, neither is that circumcision, which is outward in the flesh. And yet you are done in one so you are no you are but he is a Jew, which is one inwardly, and circumcision is that of the heart, now in the spirit and not in the letter, whose praise is not of men but of God. Now, mom, you the nipa aradne dia oyeno nimu. Now, na chetie chapa aradne dia waye nakuma mu. Wahu humu na enye dia wachrenumu. Brethren, if all that you are doing here is to try to please your pastor, try to please your elder, try to please somebody, and that's all that you are up to, then you haven't started the journey yet. I don't see any anyway. Said, Eh, you are hanging on, and say, about so soft when you have a soya, you're any, and I have one, you see, about some more beer, who say about sorry, they are. And you only are, you're in charge, yeah, yeah. And then Romans 9. Says not as though that the word of God has taken an effect 
For they are all not Israel, which are of Israel. Na enye se e bi e nyanku po asamono mu etu. Efri se enye wo a wo free Israel mu nina na wo ye Israel fo. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children. Na so enye se wo ye Abraham asifonti wo nina ye Abraham ma. But in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Na mbo mu Isaac mu na wo ba fre wa asifo. That they which are the children of the flesh are not the children of, of God, but the children of promise are counted for the seed. And he said, And ye who namma no ninyan kupoma, no mumba shamano, na wobebu ons as if war. Last two weeks you heard, God has made us what? Vessels of mercy. Na. And these are the children of promise, and they are counted as the seed. Na watu echa mu ya tia sese nyanku pon aya ya kruwa aya mwabro a kruwa. And in Galatians 3, we want to just go through this quickly and then come to our point. Galatians 3, 13, 16. Galatia 4, mama, a 3 minutes. I want everyone to understand who he is this morning. And upon me pese obi a tia se di papa ya oye. If you're a new person, and you talk of Abraham's seed, yeah. what is Abraham's seed? Today, God, by his grace, has to open your heart to understand this. So, you can see that Abraham has seen it, Abraham has seen it, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, Christ has oh, yeah. redeemed us from the curse of the law. We made a curse for us, for it is written, curse is everyone that hangs on a tree. What did Christ say, Abu Sudiya Mayayi, Amano, Amano Ato, Ye efri mra no me mu efri se wa twere se wa do me obi ara a osen dua so that the blessing of abraham might come on the gentiles through christ through jesus christ that we may receive the promise of the spirit through faith said e ebe ya na abraham ishira ebe ba amanama mu so yesu christo mu Na ya nam jidi Yesu enya hohum boche no. Who is the seed of Abraham? Why na ya Abraham amba? Now verse sixteen. Yimu do si ano. Now to Abraham and his seed, one seed, where the promises made, he said not unto cease. Ready? Let us get this revelation. Not to cease, but to one seed. Get this right. Now as of many, but as of one, and to thy seed, which is Christ. Na Abraham ni na sini na washise wangu washise wambono na sini ni na sefu ni bebe as ababa kupe a oni Christo no. So that seed that the Lord promised. Oh, niyangu pancha wangu bono. In Genesis 12, Genesis 17, Genesis 18, was all referring to who? Christ Jesus. Ah, our nyanku poncha humbo our Genesis. Tell you me nu, do me answer. I didn't know what I said. Do me nu nu. Nini na na nyanya Isaac huasem. I am Christo Jesus huasem. And to him shall all nations of the world, all kindreds of the world, be blessed. Na anuni mu. Ana amai a ewo wiase nyina musuaku a ewo wiase nyina wonu mu ana obenya nyira ana obenya nyira the seed of abraham abraham asini ananaba so who are we dia den so yeah, if christ man. is that seed that we have been talking about then what are we na se christo ani sa aba no ayaka ho asem no a ana ye 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 hwan i just yeah, want yeah, to establish it for you to understand that without Christ, without Christ, without Christ, there's no hope. Me pesa mi si subia na wati asiye se se Christo Yesu ni mua se Christo ni mua adi da sobi ni wa maya. So don't sit down and say I can follow any religion, I can follow any man, I can follow any faith. You are deceiving yourself. Because the promise is only to the seed of Abraham. Anunti, man, trao, nan kase o. Sa yen yin na nyami bakuni asumono. 
saya budo saya muslimu saya fa obua sa wa fa yesu kristo so a untumi emeye aba amen amen so what are we dia ya wan if christ is the seed is a christo ni aba no then what what about us and ye 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 Don't worry don't come to a conclusion let's move on to 26 Ma ha o ho ye to na monko imadio nu ensia no 326 Let's move to 26 please Ye ko imadio 326 For ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus Na mu nyina aye nyankopon ma ena mu didie wo Yesu Christo mu Faith in Christ Jesus. Did you what Christ Jesus makes you the child of the living God? Did you what Christ Jesus mu no? E na ma wo ye nyankopon ti asefo ne ba. And verse 29. Na himo de no nkro. That concludes the matter. I know na so asemi na. And if ye be Christ. Na samu ye Christ o dia. Then are ye Abraham's seed and ye na mu ye Abraham asefo and has according to the promise na mu ye bo hye no ma ni adidifo if ye be in Christ na samu wa Christ o Yesu mu a then are ye Abraham's seed and ye mu ye Abraham asefo are you in Christ this morning wo Christ o mu na no pai sister are you in Christ Are you in Christ? Are you sure? Who did it say Christ mu? And how do we get into Christ? Na ya bade ni awura Christ mu. How do we get into Christ? Ya bade ni awura Christ mu ana ya tia o Christ. I trust yourself this morning. The Lord is speaking to your heart. Jesus ana pao nyankopon o kasa na pao kasa kira o kuma. 1 Corinthians 12 Corinto for me di kate du mienu verse 13 you do me answer and by one spirit so na mo ho mba koso are you baptized wa ba won su into that body that one body that one any padu any mu by the holy spirit and na mo konkon ne so are you baptized and wa ba won su into christ and we are christ for yes mu so we can conclude this I don't hear about me about the tough asset. Without the Holy Ghost, oh, come come ni mu. You are not in Christ. When the Christ o mu, and if you are not in Christ, na when the Christ o mu, you are not the seed of Abraham. When ya Abraham asini, you see why the Holy Ghost is so important for every believer. Wa unu say ntia on come come no ahu hia mo jidi ni bia no. See why we have to do everything we can in our lives. to get the holy ghost when we say ti ase ye de betua ye bia se be benya on krokro no why that one spirit we are baptized into and now mo sa ho ho mba kunu mu wa boy asu and that is what makes the crucifixion of christ on calvary so important to every true believer and no na ma christo asenua ye born on calvary no Because it was on that day, that day that this promise was confirmed. When Christ died on that cross of Calvary, and He resurrected, no, sorry, you know, something took place. His body went back to God. And he has to send down his holy spirit upon us. As I say osuma ne ho nkonkon ma ne ba ye so. Without the holy spirit that is the talking you are not recognized. Na sa nkonkon no endi umu. Ah, eno ye ashanso de no a. Ene ye wan sha wo so. That's what the Bible says. The holy spirit is Christ in you the hope of glory na sa ho kunku no ani kristo a oti umu wani onyamu enidaso so without god's holy spirit all oh, the blood the precious blood that was shed the life in the blood the life the precious life in that blood came back upon us 
came back upon you on that day of Pentecost. Confirming God's covenant with eh? Abraham. That's why John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And on our account, you are in some petrimian saying, You do see, and say, Send you on your coupon door, we are seeing you. So, I didn't draw back row at the buy, eh? So, be the other, but you know, you know, one year, I know, Benya Danka. Through this death, everlasting life has come unto us. New Omu, and the Abanya Danka, and on a Danka, no Abayan, you sing the song, I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. One day, when I was lost, Jesus died upon the cross. And yeah, you know, so you cannot sit here and make a joke with Calvary. You cannot sit here and make mockery of Calvary like people are doing on television and others. Brethren, if you have the revelation of what God did for us on Calvary, oh, you always burn your head and praise His holy name. Calvary Calvary Facebook in some food, every hour. Only with the young couple, and the boy, yes, I am my only one. I can be our teacher. If you know what the Lord has done for you and me, brethren, we will live a different life. Nasa, me no, me, and you, with the young couple, I am my and yeah, and I can be a barber, a boss, and that's what the Bible says. You are a peculiar people, and not in a Bible, say, we are called for a chosen nation. Yes, you are a royal priesthood. You are a holy nation. Holiness must be part of us wherever we are. Because you shall be ye holy, for I am holy. You will not conduct your life like a worldly person. You, you will not compare your life to the people of the world. Look at them, how they are enjoying. Oh, look at me, always like this colo colo thing. You don't know what you are talking about. You are a peculiar people. For your sake, the king of glory, the king of kings, have to live his glory. Because he has to come and fulfill the promise he made to our father Abraham. Came down and suffered in the hands of sinful men. He was stripped naked. He was wounded. He was bruised all because of us. And then after this, the how you are living to you are living for him. Remember this, the Bible says, brother sister, it's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the Lord. It's a fearful thing. Bible say, eh, who said nipa beto nyanku ponsem, ana beto nyamia fidiemu. This is the time of mercy. Sabre ni, Make sure we find ourselves, we don't cross the line of mercy. Oh, the natural seed of Abraham who believe in God, God really manifests his, his power in them. Abraham Let's look at Moses. 
Moses had a lot of trials. God has asked Moses, when you go to the house of Pharaoh, the stick that is the hands, your hands on the head of Aaron, just put it on the ground, it will turn to a snake. In fact, he demonstrated, he tried it, and it worked. And they went to the house of Pharaoh, Moses and Aaron, they placed their stick in their hands, truly turned to a snake, and just there, the Jains and the Jambres also came, had their sticks in their hands, also placed it there on the floor, and that was a turn to snake. Hey, has God failed? Now, I catch you, Moses, and say, Oh, God, Pharaoh, fear. Fow, put my to a bed, I know what. I'm pa, or that I do want any more money who ye. I need to acquire. Oh, do on my se Pharaoh, send a radician ye, or buy a not in the Pumanatu. Oh, now confound the whole and go for more slipper. I do not yet to me. I want to stop money in Amra. No more Pumana go be a Danu. Oza, Nanyanko body me, I'm one of you when you mean him more. God knows what he does all the time. So he was just watching his servants. Oh, yeah. Aaron, Moses. And Moses didn't talk. Aaron didn't ask Moses, Master, are you sure we are on the right path? Are you sure God spoke to us? He didn't ask him anything. They just stood still, looking to Jesus, Hallelujah. looking to the world. Amen. And all of a sudden, the, the rocks from Aaron that have been turned to say stood up like this. What's the woman? Sorry, I know my trees to say. I want to, to start swallowing. Oh, the rocks of the chariots. You can't joke with God. He has promised that he's taking his children from, e from Egypt to the promised land. And they go to a place, here is a rescue. Here is a rescue. Hey God. And in fact, the Israelites, you know them. They are experts in memory. If you want to remember more than those Israelites in the, prom, in the on the journey to the promised land, then you are somebody. They really remembered. Ah, we told you, Moses. We haven't reached anywhere. Look at what you have done. Here's the Red Sea. Now the Egyptians are coming. Now it's up to you. Say if you want to bring us to kill us. Kill us now. Hey, Moses. Ah, but in a Moses, we are not Moses. Yet the other be a sum and money educate. What the other has a sank of a Macumia upon a Dawian Fahi? What's the other day? Moses cried unto his God. What's the suffering in Yanko? And the Lord said, Why cry now to me? Speak and let the children of Israel go forward. When Yanko catch your mother, Bosse, I don't in a woosu. Cassa. And when Moses spoke of the rod that was in his hand, the rest he have to give way. Na asen kaye tu mino. Mose kasa yano. Na se e puno makwain. And the children of Israel have to walk in the rest like on like on a dry land. Na se Israel mano amu fa moto we nye di atu tu ibisu o anye we. They will be walking. Smooth the one. They will see Mr. Whale coming around. They immediately get there. Then he will turn back. Oh, you just come around, but you come back. Yes, that's a God that we are serving. He specializes in impossibilities. Joshua and Caleb were in the company of 10 other Israelites who had been sent to go and spy the land. They saw that the, the land was really true as the Lord promised that it was really land flowing with milk and honey. Ten of them didn't actually see the promise of God. 
They saw giants. They saw high walls. They saw men of war. Uh, if that's what you want to see, you will see. But Joshua and Caleb, they're looking at God's promised word. So when they return to the camp, they told Moses, yes, the land is true. I mean, it's there. And you are carrying evidence. In fact, we took some grapes for you to see that yes, the land is flowing with milk on it. Yes, see, evidence based. But even though God has said all this, but we can't take the land. The Anakims are there. The Anakims are giants. Anna. You giants. You can step on your head and your whole body will just break into pieces. They are there on the land. And the cities are so fenced, you can't just get in. Na a chrono. But Joshua and Caleb said, no way. Joshua and Caleb said, hey, let us go quickly and take it. Ah. So we can take it because the God who promised us is with us. We can take it. See, but let's see how it's important to just have faith in God's word. Don't look at the situation around you. Don't look at yourself. Look at me. Where I've reached, who will marry me? Where I've reached, who, how will I get pregnant? Don't look at those things. God has promised and it will never fail. Because there's a difference between children who trusted in the Lord. They have purpose in themselves, in their hearts. They will never defile themselves. And even they decide not even to eat the food that has been sacrificed. And the elders. And the king of Ukraine raised a big stature or an image. And you know what? That image is the image of Daniel. Now, the image of Daniel. So he's thinking that well, after I've made an image from my own countryman. So why don't you just come and bow to it? Munim Mankofa Ganani and I'm here to say I am more muni and mubaku and I'm a fan in your name Nihoni. But these are the children of Abraham. That's why Abraham of Abraham. Abraham said they will never bow. As you hear. No matter what, they will never bow to that image. Because they know the commandment of the Lord. Thou shalt not bow to those things. Thou shalt not serve them. Therefore, we will not break God's commandments. And because these people fail to bow, okay, if you have refused to bow, there's one consequence. There's fire. We are going to take you into the fire. If you like, go and bow to the fire. Hey, I'm not here. Muy am not here. Muyre, Muman, Mobiadi, Ubaba, Quadi, five, Bakwadi, six, Bakwadi, three. Umayati, Upesia, do Kogu Janimu. A Janiya saw Ope Janana. And the children were ready. To go into the fire. 
Brethren, we must be backed by principles. Amen. Your life Amen. principle, which is upon the word of God, must guide us all the time. If you will not bow, no matter the penalty, we will not bow. As I say, I am called for your warm rasso and a dim rasso. Your young call for your dear Shadiaso. I'm found who say, I will say, I die. Say, I am here, some quad, yeah, yeah, wait, I say, mother. And these people were cast into the fire. In fact, the king was so much annoyed, he instructed them that they should hit that fire seven times. So that the people merely they get it just vanish. So they did that. And unti ya tuo gu jani mu na nama abu fua a ohini ni nyaya enti osi e jani mu fa bin kama mane nere wamu kose sa abitu me ni adi ni na gu mu anu ya she to the extent that even the, the soldiers who carried them to that fire they got burnt and then they threw these people into the fire. Asra fua macho fua nu a omo kato sa mo frayi anamrati gu jani mu omo kasa umui. But immediately these children landed in the fire. Now so, Amra, Amra, take God with them. You pay. The fourth person also landed. Oh God, if you will come, why did you let us enter this fire before you come? Already, so Baba, I don't know why you are much children. You know, we do but that is God. That's where you're young and people. his ways are not our ways. You just have to be patient with our God. And God came and the fire that was burning turned to be an air-conditioned place. And they started rejoicing in the fire, giving praises to the almighty God. Cool. Now, only power a Jano was a son of an air condition. Now, I'm a fierce, yes, I won't be a radia, you old Janimo. Who can stand before our God? I bet me a genuine young Coponimo. Until they were brought out, you know the story. Learning God has never failed his children. As long as you stand faithful to him, we do not come out of No matter what we go through. He will come to us. And Daniel himself suffered the same thing. He was thrown into the lions then, but God kept him from that lions. Daniel so We can speak about so many things, but there's no, not much time. When all these great men did great exploits. Through God that they trusted in. They conquered. But there's one thing that they could not conquer. They all died. They could not conquer. Then came the seed, the royal seed of Abraham. Christ Jesus. He came. And he said, I can lay down my life and and have it it with authority. He can lay down his life and destroy this temple. Within three days, I'll raise it up. Because these people that we are speaking about were all natural seed. And they all came on this earth through birth. A woman by a woman, a man. But Christ Jesus came by the virgin birth. Amen. Amen. And he came as a seed of faith of promise. Yes, and we are supposed to be a seed of promise. And when he came, he conquered everything around him. Christ have to go through trial also. I was reading Matthew 4. We have been reading this all the time. But something drew my attention to Matthew 4. 1. It says, then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be 
tempted of the devil. So the spirit led Christ Jesus into the wilderness to be tempted. So Christ himself how to be led to be tempted, how much more you? And he said, you fear to be tempted, but it's part, it's part of the game. And look at what the tempter did. After Jesus had fasted 40 days, 40 nights, he was hungry. He was hungry. When there was an atmosphere that had been created, and the enemy came to him. At the time when he was hungry, then the devil came. And he said unto him, If thou be the son of God, command that these stones be made. Ah, when your power, power. Then it's See the tricks of the devil. Where you are weak. That is where he will come and uh -huh. give you whisper something to uh -huh. you. Now I've seen that you are hungry. But who said come though? But you have you claim you have all the powers in your hands. Uh -huh. Why don't you command stones to be turned to uh -huh. just uh -huh. But he went to the wrong person. Uh -huh. He was standing before the word. Jesus wasn't like you and I. Okay, Satan, I will prove to you that I'm a son of God. I'm turning all these boulders into bread. He didn't do it. And then he will be obeying the devil. He didn't do that. It is written. It is written. What should I say? Man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. It was a sharp blow to the devil. It is written. And then he took him up to the pinnacle. Uh, look at where you are. You are a child of God. You are an eagle. You Why don't you just leave yourself? Uh, throw yourself down. And he quoted. He quoted. I want you to take note. Okay. After all, he said he would send his angels to keep charge over thee, and they shall bear you up, that you do not dash your foot against the stone. He quoted Psalm 91. He quoted the word of God, all right. And he is the word of God standing. Ah, or catch the Yamia Samu. I was not just quoting the letter. Nabron Samu, a kind paper, okay. Quotes that we make to people. God watches our motive behind them. Quote to know our old toy, Yakomo Bino. Yankupon and Nimbu Tayenti out here. Sometimes, Tidabia, you read a message and you come across something. You won't tell you the whole story, you just pick a quote. I'll push it to you. Okay, if you are not yeah. stable in the word of God. Ah, if God has said this is about then then this is not right. This is not right. This is not right. You have oh. form your own conclusion. Okay, yeah. But be ki to abi no afa, no atua brawo. Into one here here. We say us nyame na kai. Oh, any e fan is that. Let us be we from Bram. Of course, that are flying around. Yeah, here here. In someone called for two as an image, let us be wary of such things. Yeah, yes, I did. The devil quoted, but some two as and he quoted the word. I don't care, someone, but Jesus told him, Now, yes, you catch it. It is written, What should I say? Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. In so, ready when you uncoup on here. Second blow. What I could require to assume you know. Let me show this one. This, this one there, he can never refuse. Ah, wait, mommy, for when you went there, on the one. mountain there, the mountain has shown him all oh, the beauty of the world. Oh, the qualities of the, of the nations. How the kings were enjoying, how the presidents in their, in their cars with sarees around them and just going and everybody bowing to them. He showed him all this glory. Or then I did children send the America president Bar. 
kasa kesie di nani mgana president ba kasa kesie di nani na nipa kutukutuwa okutukutuwa na sari ne atiyam yiram 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 and satan said bro sam say all this god knows that we entrusted into his hand abi you see that adam forfeited his rights so second satan took over all this will i give you just bow to me small just bow and that's all so what who say na money nyina who say fe we nyina dia she me nsa wo dia dia wo dia tena wuti na fuck off from sake wo ye no nko a dia kanya me dinin nyina am de be ma o see he wants the lord to avoid cavalry so um, just give it to me satan um, he is his wife try so what was trying to do he didn't waste time hey get in behind me get in behind me you satan when him dey na brown sam pass all here wo mane kwati kwan ahini na ye ne dey say dabi fa kwati kwan so na ja cavalry wo honum yes is a hey free me sufi brown sam Covering the bomb army. For it is written. As we are trained, sir. That shall worship the Lord thy God, and Him only shall thou serve. I ready with you on coupon, coupon. I will be summoned. And after that, Satan didn't know what to do again. I so feel he left him. But someone is what I know. Christ came and He conquered all temptation. Now in so many now, Christ so yes to be this so. Brethren, he came and conquered all diseases in our body. He the Bible says in Isaiah, he was wounded for our transgressions. Bible say emra tunti wo prano. He was bruised for our iniquities. Ya mumu ya tinu wo prano. All the chastisement of our peace were laid upon him. Emma so so the boy nyina asum je ma wa de ho no. With his stripes were we healed. Na ne man tampia mu ne nya ya resa. He came to heal us. Obasanya ya dia. And someone who three verse three tells us. And you my hand me and say Jesus Lord who has forgiven us our iniquities and has healed us of all our diseases. Anu nyanko po di ya mumu yo nyina cheye. No wa say ya ri wa nyina. He came and no disease could stand the Lord. Ya dia bia ni wa He went from city to city healing the sick raising the dead. O fri kromu ko kromu because he came as a mighty conqueror enyani awufuo oba sa osa hine kese ya ni mi ko conquered what no man could conquer na odi enkunimu wa ade ani pantime ni so that has really afflicted man all these years was death ade a aha oni pa abo ni pa hu achichiri ni pa che ayowuo he conquered death and hell and rose again for our justification odi owuo ni asama ndu sunku ni mu asori fri awufu mu romans 425 roma fa nguma etre na imadu nu so close very soon brethren yeah but pon si si anu anu he was delivered for offenses and was raised and was raised again for our justification na o manu subio amayen bimbu onti he is a mighty conqueror ono ne nkrimdi fo kase no in revelation 118 adi semetre ba ku yimudu nwache no he stood up and said i am he that liveth and was dead and behold i am alive forevermore amen and have the keys of hell and of death Asin romene o kandifo ni ochidifo ni dia ote asia no na mi wi na he meti asida na mi kura owo ni asamando nsafoa so you see that now that thing that we feared so much death even till now people who claim they have been born again they have the spirit of god when they hear death you less on so jamaa so jamaa come with gun and stand here we we'll see how people really jump through the windows we fear death but jesus came to conquer death anunti ka hai ba ko ni pastor pa yo wo o di ni sunku ni mo ampo ana ye ye ti ya christofo so we be be jina ha no mo no ama ti osu no ama one shot pow when i christo ni wa ka ba hu ampo mani ni na be bubu na fam 
But brethren, the brethren of old, during the time of persecution, during the time of inquisition, they had this revelation that Jesus has conquered death and he has risen again for our justification and therefore death has no power over us. Hell has no power over us, and they were ready to walk into the lions' them to be devoured by demon, by lions. They were ready to walk through fire to be devoured by fire because they had an assurance of the resurrection. Esumu emre ni muno, ada ya tata Christopher atiche wongkumu wano. Yani anu majidi fuaji Christo di se, anu wa wuka asamado no sorry free asamado. Asori fri awufu mu sori ba ya no se wo mu wukra obetimi anya ne won anu ti bra ya de wo ma jata ye twetwa wo mu mu ye twa bi nu ti ye di ja si o mu no no mu wa ahotoso o wo jidie no mu kra o mu jidie mu a wo ma mpa ba because jesus has defeated death adentra e sa se yesu christo edi owo so kunim and he's holding the key of death and hell na owo ni asama do ensafo anu kra no no hell can lock you. I see hell. Eh? Jesus, I want the victory for us. Hell, met me at Umu. I saw my room at me at Umu. Oh, we all met me at Uplumu. A son said, Yes, you crystal. I did cream crass. And he has delivered us from the power of darkness. Now, I did have you a sumu to me. I say, He has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son Jesus. Oh, brethren, let us allow faith to reign. It isn't now that you are going to conquer sickness. It isn't now. He has conquered it already for us. It is now that you are going to conquer death. He has conquered death already for us. So sickness is defeated. I don't think you are here. You didn't see you. Death is defeated. What you are here? You are not here. You are not here. You are not here. Hell is defeated. What you are here? You are not here. No one the power in First Corinthians fifteen fifty five. Can say that oh death first your sting. I know Tina Paulo I can't walk out of our medical trade. No more than no no. Oh 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 Victory belongs to us. But brother, sister, you can enjoy this victory after you have gone through trial. No true child of God will ever escape trial. As we read in uh, Psalm 94 last two weeks, Psalm 94, 12, 13, as we are about closing, so blessed is the man that that chasteneth, O Lord, that teaches him out of thy law, that thou may give him rest from the days of adversity. So therefore, brother, sister, whatever you are going through is for a season. Whatever is happening to you may not understand. <laughs> we sing a song further along. We, we, we don't understand it, but... We know we shall understand one day. You tempted your trial. We are going to wonder why all these things come away. Brother, you are going through trial. If it is a true trial from the Lord, you will surely overcome. But if it's your own sin that is leading you to those temptations, then don't, don't say you are being tried by God. It's your lust that has led you there. And when you read it, Hebrews 10 25 says, Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which has great recompense of reward. I don't think Hebrew form a third do you made a son who say, Wahoto so our Radimuno and to Antony for Santa and Numuna and Faso Bibri, for ye have need of patience. Muhia, what was it all that after you have done the will of God? You may receive the promise. You have need of patience. 
When the troubles come, exercise patience. Don't rush to utter things, anything against the Lord. God knows what he is doing. Just exercise patience. Brethren, the seed of Abraham. Abraham the seed of Abraham, Abraham will surely conquer, but surely you, overcome the gate of his enemies. But he must go through trials. And therefore, you must be prepared to embrace trials. I remember when God is trying you, he won't come and tell you today, I'm going to try you. Before you realize something has come, it can be in the form of sickness. You can lose your property. You can even lose your loved one, your child, your, your spouse. Anything can happen to you. But in all this, remember, there's a God in heaven who watches over us. And who has allowed this to happen to us. And he is faithful. He will never leave us. He will stumble us. Until victory is won. Brother, shall we turn to a hymn book? Him 23, my faith looks up to you, Lord. My Savior divine. I pray. Oh, 
Call upon the Lord this hour. Lord, increase my faith. That in the midst of trials, I'll be able to stand. Lord, increase my faith. My faith looks up to you. That no matter what, I will hold on to thy word. Yeah, I will not stray off from the path that I have set for me. Oh, Lord, help me stay in thy word. Ready, shall we pray? Call upon the Lord. Brethren, what you need is patience. Patience that will help us endure whatever we go through. Just hold on to the word of God. For that is our absolute. It will never fail us. Let us call our precious pastor to close us with the word of God. Let us be in prayer. Our dear Master Jesus, we are grateful to you. We thank you so much. You loved us, O oh Lord. That's why you came to die for us. And you continue to share your love abroad into our hearts. That's why today you are gathered us here, O oh Lord, to have mercy upon us and fill us one more time with your word. Encouraging us in your word that is only through faith that we can see you. It's only through faith that we can go through this journey. It's only through faith that we can overcome this world. It's only through faith that we can overcome trials and temptations, tribulations, and all that ahead of us, Lord. It's only through faith, Lord. It's our prayer that, oh Lord, this morning as thy word has come, if there be anyone here who is having doubt in his or her heart, if there's anyone here who has given up, is anyone here, oh Lord, going through fire? If there's some that are going through the flood, Father, oh Lord, remember your blood on Calvary and walk us through it, oh Lord, safely, oh Father. Father, we commit our souls, our spirits, and our body into your hands, Lord. And we want to say before you that without you, we can do nothing, Father. May you come and take over and grant us the grace to go through these trial times these hard and difficult moments that is coming upon the world, Father. Father, I commit the preacher into your hands. Lord, him alone, his family, his wife, his children, they are under your grace and your glory, Father. May you protect him. May you anoint him. May you nourish him. May you fill him more with your grace and your glory. Amen. Father, may you give him more wisdom. Yes, Lord. And understanding into your word. Yes, Lord. That anytime he stands here, Father, it can deliver according to thy will. I will commit the rest of the weeks into your hands, Father. You know tomorrow, we know nothing. But you know everything. Father, O oh Lord, sail it through the week. Sail it through the months. And if it be your will, Father, we take it through even to the coming year. Father, grant our heart desires. Those who are looking for children, I pray for them. 
Those who are looking for money, I pray for them. Those who are looking for healing, I pray for them. Those who are looking for blessings and favor, I pray for them. Father, may you grant our heart desires, so Father. As we live on this earth, Father, we need material things. May you bless us. For you have promised that in blessing you bless us. And the blessings that you poured upon Abraham, you have promised you poured upon us. Father, oh Lord, may you grant it to us. Even in Jesus Christ's name, amen. Amen. Bless Let's give a big clap to Jesus Christ. Am I a species? Let's, well, let's be seated as we listen to it. Praise the Lord. I think the musicians will give us song and then uh, the dedicants will pass both rounds so that we give, we take our love offering for the baby. I don't to follow my anymore now. I'm fine. Pretty no
Yeah.